Hello, welcome to this lesson of linear algebra. We're going to continue working with solving eigenvalues, and then in subsequent sections we'll work on the eigenvectors. So let's just get some practice. What if your matrix A was 2, 7, 7, 2, very simple 2 by 2 matrix, and you want to find the eigenvalues of this matrix. I've taught you the derivation and kind of how it works, but basically all you need to do is find the determinant of what we call the characteristic matrix, where we put lambdas on the diagonal like this. Everything stays the same except we put minus lambdas on the diagonal and then we set it equal to zero. So even if you don't understand the derivation or if you don't care, this is what you do. And since it's two by two, we go like this. Two minus lambda, two minus lambda, uh, minus 49 is equal to zero because seven times seven is 49. And then we expand this. This is going to give us four minus two lambda, minus two lambda, plus lambda squared. This guy gives us lambda squared, minus 49, and that's equal to zero, okay? And so then we just basically uh, simplify lambda squared. This is gonna give us minus four lambda, and then this is gonna give us minus 45, and that's equal to zero. So we first try to always factor these things. This is called the characteristic polynomial. You always get that whenever you're trying to find these eigenvalues put a lambda here and a lambda here, and nine times five is the thing that comes to mind to make 45, and of course I can say minus and plus, that'll give me a negative nine lambda, this will give me a positive five lambda, that's gonna give me what I want in the middle. So basically I'm done, I can say that lambda is nine, when I set this equal to zero, and lambda is equal to negative five. So nine and negative five, these are the two eigenvalues. You basically follow the exact same procedure all the time. You put the, the minus lambdas on the diagonal, take the determinant, in this case we're using crisscross. We get down here and we find the eigenvalues. If you can't factor it, then you have to use quadratic formula, or if you can't even use quadratic formula, like maybe you get a larger degree polynomial down there, then you have to use other methods to find it, or you could use a calculator to find the eigenvalues. But let's uh, crawl before we can walk. Let's do one more. What if the matrix in question 3, negative 2, 1, negative 1. I want to find the eigenvalues of that, and so I take the determinant of 3 minus lambda, negative 2, 1, negative 1 minus lambda. I just do this, guy on the diagonal, set that equal to 0. So I do crisscross, like I always do. 3 minus lambda, negative 1 minus lambda, and then I subtract negative 2. Okay. So let's go ahead and expand this out. 3 times negative 1 is negative.